Welcome back, and for this video, we're going to start going over the shaders, channels, and Mari's layering system. Now, since uh, the release of Mari 2.0, um, they've introduced more of a non-destructive, kind of a Photoshop-type workflow while you're texturing within Mari. So first off, let's go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and go over shaders first, and then we'll move the channels, and then I'll show you uh, how to deal with layers and sharing layers and everything like that. So first off, let's uh, hit the shaders tab and you have four options here. You have current channel. Now what that's going to show is that's going to show whatever channel that you are um, highlighted or you click on. Now it really doesn't matter which one, but um, it will just show that particular channel that you're working on. Now let me go to my diffuse and the next one is your current layer. Now, whatever layer that you're working on, you can just let me go to tiled. All right. Now, what that's just going to show, that's just going to show whatever that, you know, whatever particular layer that you're working on. Now, current paint target is the next one. Let me find one with a mask on it. Uh, no. Uh, matter of fact, I'll just make one. Okay, and let's say, just go current channel. I just want to do, for showing purposes, I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Um, as you see, current paint target is going to show white. Okay, that's all it's going to show. Now, what you can do is, let's say you want to add a mask. Now, we will get in these layers, uh, adding adjustments, um, adding masks, sharing masks, sharing layers and everything a little bit later. But for now, I just want to kind of show you what the four options. Now, what that's showing is that's just showing exactly you can either bounce back from your layer to your mask. And you can see that particular part in, you know, completely separate from your layer. So also, it's like if, if I... Let's go ahead and do black. Well, it's already black. Sorry. Do that. Just go to current layer. Actually, I just go current channel so you guys can see it better. And as you see, I've already masked that out. Now, I can't continue to work on this mask. without really worrying about anything. But if you want to go back to it, all you have to do is current paint target. Now, previously, I had gone over this little toolbar here. Now, that's essentially doing the same thing. You know, you can bounce back, you know, however you need to between these four modes. I'll put that back up here. Okay, so let's say you get your, let me go ahead and delete this one here. Let's say you have your textures uh, kind of where you want it, or you're just doing some, some, uh, you know, some, some working on it and seeing kind of how it, uh, how it looks. So let's go ahead and um, add a shader. One thing I wanted to also talk about is these four options here. You can adjust your specular, specular roughness, diffuse. They all have the same options here, pretty much. So let's say you want to add a Fong shader. Now you do have Fong, Cook Torn, Speckman, Blend, Flat Lighting, and Standard Lighting. Okay. So let's just go ahead and do the uh, first one since I've got it up here. And all you have to do is hit the plus sign, add whichever shader that you want to. Now you can add custom shaders. Now you do have two options for your diffuse. You also have four options for your specular. So keep that in mind. All you have to do is hit this little arrow down here and choose whichever one that would uh, suit your needs. So shaders like big folders, all you're doing is plugging your channels in. Okay, so we want diffuse in there. We'll go ahead and put spec in there. Oh, if I click the right one here. Uh, give it a second. Let's 
Sorry about that. Okay, sorry about that. I kind of, I guess I clicked it too many times. Generally, it's it's a lot smoother. Now, what it's doing now is calculating all your um, layers to where you can uh, view it on the viewport. So we're going to drop the spec down completely. Now, you do uh, have an option here to where you can adjust your diffuse. As you noticed, I did drop the spec down completely. Um, you have specular shininess. You can uh, adjust. Um, you have your environment, and you also have your bump weight. As you see, works quite well. Um, you have your ambient light. You can adjust that up or down. Um, you also have an um, ambient occlusion um, option here to where you can adjust. Now, as you see, mine does have that option here. Now, in order to use this, remember, you have to go to objects and let Mari calculate your AO on whatever particular object that you're, that you're working on. Um, you have your emissive um, amount, you can go up or down. Now these little R's here, I've explained it before, all you have to do is hit R and it will reset them to the uh, default. Okay, and if you uh, load a displacement map, you have your bias scale range and tessellation. So like I said, it's real easy. Um, it is a, a dream to work in, you know, and Mari 1.6 was great to work in, but this is even better. You know, since it implemented the uh, shaders, it's a lot quicker. Um, it's just, it's, it's great. Can't say enough about it. So let's go ahead and move on to channels.